Hey gang, how's it going? Okay, we're doing our exercise for the day. Dollars. Welcome to the live stream and or, or the replay. If you're watching later, we're going to start with our tapping on the breastbone, activating a little bit of thalamus gland, a little immune system release. Now today we're going to do most of our stuff laying down, a lot of abdominal work. But first we do our tapping. Hello, you guys. Thank you for joining. Hi, Deborah. Today we're going to do most of our stuff laying down on that, so that's good. We're going to do a little bit of our squats and our cross pose standing, though, but not too much. Tapping on the breastbone, activating the thalamus gland, creating a little bit more immunity. And then the K27, right under the collarbones, a little massage there, perhaps. Hey! Good. And then, just back and forth between the breastbone and the collarbones a few times. And then we're going to get the lung one, right, pectorialis, as it turns out, it also helps release the pecs and helps release some shoulder tension if you release the pecs right there because we're also rounded forward helping release the pec insertion right that little divot in front of the shoulder really helps the shoulder the rest of the shoulder shoulder tension the top the trapezius and your rotator cuff so it's good to dig in as well as it happens to be long one immunity spots and then let's tap the ribs side of the ribs a little lymphatic release, might be a little sore. If it's sore, that's probably a good spot to tap. Getting through it. <sighs> Great! Okay, you guys, let's come up to standing for a cross crawl. There's a little bit of brain organizing. We tip the camera as it turns out. And we're gonna opposite knee into the opposite knee. Lift the knee up so it's working a little bit cardiovascular. Um, and it's fun. Cross crawl, isn't it? A little bit. Opposite hand to the opposite knee. Lift the knees up as high as you can. Nice and tall. Shoulders back. Happy thoughts. 20 seconds. Lift it. Lift it. Opposite. Go for it. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more each, and then a grand plie squats slash the founder at right? the lower back work. So giving side view, squeezing legs towards each other. We're just going to bend your knees, shifting the weight back. And here's the one where you can turn your toes out or parallel, depending on what feels better for your knees and your hips. And you don't have to bend too far if it feels like it's too much. That's fine. And just shift your weight back. So on your heels. So you're feeling more hamstrings and glutes, as much as possible, back and forth. I'm going to do a minute of this. And then pushing your fingers together for a little extra credit. Push the fingers, shoulders drawn down. If it's okay with the shoulders, but this helps integrate. And then the farther you're reaching your arms away from your core, the more you're strengthening the deep lower back muscles. I'm just going up and down. Squeeze the legs together. In the thigh activity, happy thoughts. Very good. And chin tuck long through the neck. Reach arms forward. Up and down. Looks like we have 10 more seconds. Hopefully you're feeling your hamstrings and your thighs and your lats. We're under our muscles. Glutes, lower back muscles, and the rest. Wonderful. Excellent. Okay, let's come down. Rolling down for your spine, how about? Let's just do a few roll up and downs. One word at a time. Just admire your toes and then roll back up. You can bend your knees to roll up. Just do a few of those. If you want, you bring your up and over. And exhale. Then ding through each vertebrae. Mid day to the bottom, drop all your worries off. And roll back down or up. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Arms overhead, if that feels good for your shoulder. And down. 
onto your relations. Stretching through your back. You can straighten your legs at the bottom if it feels okay, but otherwise you bend your knees. So it's a little easier on your back. And we're going to lean back up. Arms are red. And back down. Rolling, rolling. Stretch. And again, two more. Inhale, breathing deeply. And rolling back. Last one. Roll. Red. And back down. You guys can just hang out. You can even bend one knee, shimming side to side here. And then we're going to come down to the mat. Stay down. Rest. Shimmy, a little wiggle. Enjoy. Keep going. Hey guys, if you guys have any questions, by the way, you can type it in the chat if you want. Okay, now let's come down to your mat. We're going to do the lunge series. Reaching one leg forward. If it's not feeling comfortable on your knee, pat up your knee, or you can do this standing, just holding on to some furniture. But the point here is to stretch the front of the hip, and then you can extend that stretch through the rib cage by reaching your arm overhead if that feels okay. Do your neck release. Deep breathing. Leaning to your left side a little bit more. So you're opening even more your side body and then you can put your hand down for that next stretch. Palm up so you're opening that front of the shoulder at the pectorialis insertion. Flex your fingers back for even more and head rolling. Release the neck. Ah, delightful. And then standing the front leg, hamstring stretch. Flex your toes back. We're just doing our three deep breaths here, sinking deeper on the exhale. And getting the length, drop your worries. Yes, and then the pigeon pose, which I call the shin down shimmy. Here's where you can use some prop pillows or something, stack of towels, a book. To put on your hip if it feels uncomfortable on your knee or feels impossible to come down this position, use what you have. And we're just wiggling side to side a little bit if it feels possible. Flex the front foot so that you're protecting the knee and you can lean forward to intensify it if it needs more intensity. And then there's the extra credit, grabbing your foot. Optional. <sighs> totally, totally optional. I love doing it though. Just a little more hip flexor stretch if possible. Ah, good. Down with dog ears. Shift back. Now, if this is feeling too pinching your shoulders, you could bring your arms up. I was going to show you like on some sort of surface, you come up a little higher. Just get a hamstring stretch, pushing back. That might help your shoulder rather than coming to the floor. Options. Use what you have nearby. <laughs> And here we're walking the dog, bending one knee, shifting your hips side to side, so you get a little more stretch on the side. Shoulders drawing down from your neck, head down, pulling the abs in, and just enjoy it. And here's where you also have the deep breathing so that you're engaging the abs, trying to think you're pulling your organs up under the rib cage here. So you get a deep abdominal experience, deep breath. Try that thorough exhale here a few times. And you'll start to feel that deep abdominals. Your hamstrings are pulling your back too much. Bend your knees. You can stick your butt out really flat in your lower back here. And that will help also. And then the deep breathing. Add sodium in. Shoulders down. Your back neck long. Three more. Full exhale, all the air out. Last one, and switching legs. Now we're gonna have your left foot forward. And flex your stretch, pat up your knee if you need to. You could be upright, and we're going to side pat if that feels tolerable. For your shoulder, and just let your head dangle, stretch, leaning to the right so you get more stretch to that open side. And the hand down, neck stretch. Fingers flex, head roll, neck 
release. Yes. Good. And shaking back, flex your foot, press your chest down. Deep breathing. And then you go in. Good. Excellent. And then we're going to bring the shin down, pigeon position. Just going side to side. You can pat up your hip for a little easier time. Good. And slide to side a little bit and tipping forward, flex your foot even more. Just breathe into it. Good. And then you can always grab the foot for CPU that's available to you today if you wish. Ooh, it's a big deal. Mm, amazing. So great. Okay, we're going to do our plank. I'm not going to do too many planks today because we have a lot of abdominals later. We're just going to hold the plank for a minute. Arms straight or knuckles, right? Or forearms. But what I want you to do is reach the heels back and forth. I'm going to time it. It's going to be so great. So like this, and you can do back and forth, right? Or arms straight, and if you can, bring your arms forward, whether you're having forearms, open arm pit, or your arms are straight. You wanna have a forward of your torso, so it's more challenging, okay? So it's just a minute, just a friendly minute, and we're gonna do just two more variations after that, not too many, okay? Be happy. Already, set, go. Plank it up. Keep your butt to thunder. Now squeezing your arms towards each other helps a little bit here. Squeezing your legs a little bit as well. Keeping your butt tucked. Long neck. And pivoting back and forth at the ankle. Good. Any challenge, you can keep the neck long, chin tucked. Tall to the top of the head. Back and forth. 30 seconds. Keep it going. Back and forth. Squeeze the legs, reach the heels back and forth. Use your arms towards each other. 20 more seconds. Oh my. Tuck it. Make it shaky and quicky. 15 seconds. Almost there. 10 seconds. 10, 8, 7, long neck. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Resting down. Very good. We're just going to do the hip dips, which I think is better on the forearms. Then you might even be able to tap your hip on the floor. Okay. Happy thoughts. Okay, guys. Let's just do 30 seconds of hip dips. All right. It'll be great. Ready? Set. Up on your forearms. Just swing it side to side. 30 seconds. Ready? Set. Go. Side to side. And the faster you go, the harder it should be. Side to side, back and forth. Feel your lats engaging. Good. Keep going. Swing. Side to side. Almost there. Give you 10 seconds. Go, go, go. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Ah. Good. Is that terrible? Wasn't too bad, right? No? Good. Okay, you guys. Who wants to do push ups? Nobody? Understandable. Try and do a little, if you can. Now, you can go incline again, like on a surface like this, right for a push up. You can even be on your knees. Just a little elbow bend. That's a modification, like on the couch or something. Otherwise, you can do 10 regular push-ups. Push into your fingers here to help keep a little cupping at the palm. That'll help protect your wrist. Thank you, Steph. Happy 10. No problem. It's basically a plank, isn't it? So keep your hips low. And just 10. Good. Nine. Good. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, 
two, one, and finish your up. Make a child's pose, happiness, have a nice moment. We go your side to side if you like. You can swing your arms to the sides. So you get more side bend stretch. That's my favorite version of the child pose. Ah. Maybe a few times. Hey. Okay, you guys. Let's do our bridge series now to give your abs a little break. So this is the one where if you have socks, slippery socks, it works pretty well. Or you could have towels on your feet to replicate the pelt presses on your former. Very good hamstring glue work. So rigorous, in my opinion. So lay down your backs. Now you can push your elbows into the mat or you can press your arms straight down, that's fine as well. And we're going to do a happy 10 repetitions only. So lift your butt, slide out, drag in. One of my feet. This works too. So whatever, whatever you have, carpet might be a little trickier. If you have carpet, you might want to try a piece of paper or maybe even a, like a paper plate or something under your feet. Lift your butt, tuck your butt under, and slide in. Nine, eight, push with your arms. Seven, six, work that floor. Five, four, three, goodness. Two, one. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. Hold it up. Let's do the one legged version. This one's easier, you don't even have to slide. Extend one leg. Up to the ceiling, you're gonna push off the floor and lift your toes up to the ceiling 10 times. Let's do 10. 10, 9, 8. Push the floor down. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Switch legs. Send the leg up and push the floor away. 2. Try to poke the ceiling. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Rest you down. Let's do some bridges. Just rolling up and down through the spine. <sighs> Healing up. So you can, you know, try and have less less wipey. You can take the towels out so it's less slippery. So I'm trying to say, I'm just going to peel up. Now try arms up. Interlace your fingers and pull them apart so you feel activity on the outside of the arms. Spreading your shoulder blades wide. And as we lift your hips, bring your arms down. It's a little arm activity and overhead as you roll down through each vertebrae. Arms can go over as far as your shoulders will allow. Peeling up, hands to the hips. And I think exhaling on your way down here works the best. So you get a nice spinal release. A little more bend through your thoracic spine. Now let's do five more. Peel up. Use your inhale, exhale, rolling down. Back to. But just keep breathing. Breathe when you need to. Just undulating. Want to get as much bend through your vertebrae and activity in the outside of the arms. And roll up. And roll down. And roll up. And roll down. Nice and relaxed, isn't it? No problem. One more thing with your legs. Legs up. We're just going to butterfly. Lock your knees out and down. As you bring your knees in, lift your butt a little higher. Let's just do 10, 9, 8. Squeeze them together. 7, 6. You can try it up on your tippy toes, but I think it's actually harder if you're on your flat feet. It's more glutes, I find. But you can play with that. A few more. And then resting down. A little hamstring stretch. Let's stretch sequence now. Pulling your leg towards your head. We're going to do the hamstring extending experience here. Pull with your arm. Use your arm strength here to pull your leg as close as you can. And then we're pressing your leg into your arms. So you're assisting with your biceps. This is your bicep work. And release and see if you can't pull your leg closer. So it should come a little closer each time. Exhale, press, activating and release and pull. 
Closer again. That's a press. Release. Relax muscle. Pull closer. Three more. Press. Release. Pull. And press. Release. Pull. Is it getting closer? How good it is? And I'll circle the foot. Releasing the ankle. Little snap and crackle adjustments. And a reverse direction. Try and keep pulling the leg. So you're still feeling your hamstring working. And now flex your foot back as far as you can. Maybe you can grab your toes. <sighs> Make it really, really challenging. And then cross the leg over. Oops. There's a wall in the way. Cross your leg over. You might even enjoy hooking your foot on the wall or like a couch that's nearby here. And giving a little deeper stretch to the, to the hip. I find it to be delightful. Breathing into it. You can reach your arm up position. Pulling your ribs towards the mat. Breathe. Inner thigh stretch. Bring your leg up and over into the other side. Inner thigh. Stretch. Maybe pull your leg up towards your head a little more. When you're on a piece of furniture here, also totally not cheating. And cross the ankle over, figure four, stretch, thread your arms through, and you can walk to the side. Just a happy moment. Push your elbow into your knee to get even more stretch through the glutes. Walking, so nice. Happy to be here. And then we get to do the other leg. Switching legs, hamstring, falls. So just inching out a little more stretch. You can use your, your Towel, hooked around your foot, or a strap, etc. Do what you can. Use what you have around. Just make it stretch the back of the leg. Now let's do our arm work. Slash hamstring extending trick and press your leg into your hand. Activate muscle and release. And pull closer. And press. The leg into your arm and then release. And closer. Each time. Try to hold it that close to the next press. Press and release. I really feel my arms working here. So fire those biceps up. Keep your shoulders down. And three more. Press and release. So press, 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 release. Woo! Again. Press. Release and foot circle. Release that ankle. You climb up the leg a little more. Use your biceps. Reverse the circle. Try to straighten your knee a little more. And flex your foot back. Make it a painful stretch. Make it challenging. Is better word. And crossovers. Hook your leg into whatever you have available, and reach your arm up position. And breathe. So trying to get your chest to the floor. And breathe. And twist for each exhale. So you look over your shoulder so you get even more spinal rotation. And exhaling up, bring your leg out to the side. You use a, a wall nearby or whatever you have because it's the furniture. Delicious. Yay. So happy and cross the ankle over the knee, pressing your elbow into the knee to make it more potent. One leg to the side. And you're going to have some delightful abdominals laying on the mat though. So it's basically a mat. Just kidding. And now we're going to roll up the roll up, the classic Pilates. Great, so they can extend it. Maybe sip of water if you want before we do this next one. The classic Pilates roll up. So you can hook your fingers under your couch or whatever. You can have your knees bent, you can straighten your legs. You can use your arms on your legs to help you roll up. It's available. We're going to do this right into some app series. Sip of water. Right. Okay. And roll down. Let's do three roll downs. Whoa. Try to go slow. Slow as you can. And arms overhead. And again, 
Inhale and make inhale halfway as good as an exhale for the hard part where your back feels flat and you want to bend. Stretching over. And rolling back. Arms reaching forward. Wow, slow. Lay through the hard part. And again. Inhale halfway up. Use your exhale, superhero sound effect, and stretching it out with the legs. Enjoy the hamstring moment. The, the chest to your legs, stretch. And one more time, and then do a little abdominal exciting version. Slow mo mo. Whoa. Feel the bird. Almost to the head. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, shh, second, pass. Enjoy your hamstring stretch, then we're going to do a variation. Excellent. Rolling back onto your elbows. So we're going to prop yourself up, but lift the chest into your shoulder blades. And we're going to kick one leg up. So you're trying to lift the chest. It's not just hanging out. Lift the chest, push shoulder blades. Kick the leg up, bend it. Kick the leg up. And it in. Switch. Keep the leg up, and it in. So try to tuck your foot under, pull the abs in, as you so basically can can. In, kick, in, kick, switch legs. Kick, in, kick, in, switch legs. See? It's a little fancy move. Lift, try to keep the lift. It's hard to remember. Kick straight, bend in. Kick straight, bend in. Switch legs. Kick straight. And in, straight, and in, switch legs, kick straight, and in. We'll do a few more, keep it going, and kick straight, and in, kick straight, bend in, one more each, kick, bend, kick, very cool, kick, bend, kick, bend, amazing, isn't that fun? Now, we're going to curl up. And try to hold for a moment or five moments. How about we count to five? Five. So you just hold, lean back into your lounge chair. If there's no chair. Four. Suck the abs in. Squeeze the legs together. Three. Tuck your butt under. Fill the abs. Two. One. Rest your forearms. You can just slouch for a moment. And then we come right back up. Now we do another can can type of Bring your knees in. Twist to the side, twist to the side, twist to the side, extend the legs. So your knees are coming in, hinge your legs, chest up, hold on. Twist to the side, twisting at the waist, knees to the side, extend the legs. Twist, 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 extend. Eight more. Twist, long to the spine, to the lower abs, extend. Kick, the knees, side. Extend. Well, Carlo. Whoops, I missed it. Extend. So it's a three, two, one. Extend. Yeah. Three, two, with the torso. Extend. Yeah. Three, two, one. Straight legs. Three, two, one. I'm sure you're getting the hang of it now, right? Let's do. Two more each side. Wiggle, keep your chest lifted. Go to elbows, exhale. Right. One more. Wiggle, side to side. And one more side. One more time. And now we're going to do the same hold. So curl up halfway. Send your arms now. If you're feeling frisky, you want to lift or roll your arms. Extra credit. Take your butt under. Straight point. Three, just like two, one, and roll up, enjoy yourself finally, and to a stretch. Ah, you can grab your toes and flex it back, chest to your legs, heading down deeply. Keep your head dangled down, drop all your worries. Pull the legs, toes back, that feels so good. I love it. Sit. 
sip of water. Now we're going to do classic Pilates with a bit of uh, extra challenge. Classic Pilates, rolling like a ball, and the answer is with a bit extra. So rolling like a ball is fun. Just wake up your spine, roll it back, and balance on your butt. So I think pressing, bring your arms around like you're lifting your ball. Press your great resistance by pressing your legs into your arms to create that shell of the ball. I think it helps. And just roll back, inhale back, exhale forward is, I think, the best way to maneuver the breath. And when you're exhaling, blow lead your sail to come forward. Let's do 10 of them. Control. Control. The moment at the top. And you can play with how much you bring your butt in the air. Control the balance. Pressing your legs into your arms. Use some kind of arm work as it turns out. You can three more. But of course, count yourself because probably we're after it. One more for good measure because I feel like I turned it wrong. Whoa, that was fun, wasn't it? And down. We're going to slowly run it down onto your back for the single leg stretch. Classic Pilates, pull one knee and extend the other leg. Upward curl if you can. Your neck is too chaps. You can always lower your head. It feels like it's too much. I'm trying to think long through your neck. Hollywood neck, like Jason says. Stretching the neck long, top head reaching, and pulse, pulse the knee. Pulse, pulse the knee. Keeping the shoulder blades off the mat. Just inhale, both legs. Exhale, both legs. Full exhale sound. Shoulder blades sliding down the back. Relax the neck. Relax the shoulders. Deep breathing. Exhale. Two more breath cycles. Inhale. And exhale. Keep going. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath cycle, I believe. Rest your neck, pull your knees in, or you have your feet on the mat and just flop your knees up. So that's my favorite one. Whatever you like. You can hip wiggle. Feet wide, and then you get a little more hip torque. Ah, and then your head to the side with a little neck. You can just keep thinking long rolling with neck, no wrinkles. And that way it's less impressive on your neck. Ah, well, that was fun. I'm working away a little bit. And now we're going to do the double leg, both legs. Curling back up, both knees into your chest. Keep your shoulder blades up off the mat. Long, no wrinkles, neck. Inhale, arms and away. Circle your arms around if there's enough room. Contract in. Otherwise, you just bring your arms straight back. Two knees. Exhale. Inhale. We're sweeping your arms around. Ten of these. Keep. We are sucked in, mid back, pressing into the mat, and breathe. Flat one. Try to do ten. So do ten for yourself. Stretch. Stretch. Girl. Get it. And resting down. And doing whatever feels restful for you. For 10 seconds, about. You can your legs around, you can your knees side to side, happy to leave, celebrate. Then, our extra challenge moment. Okay. Crunches, genie crunches, curling up. I love genie arms. That one's kind of bad. It's kind of like rolling a ball, and then we're just going to lift the knees up and tap your up. Tap your elbows if you can. And 10, 9, 8, and back a little bit so it's harder. Get it. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower your feet. Roll back down to that really hard part. What does it you just do? Roll back and then pulse it. Up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, 
two, and look all the way down. And happy moment again, whatever you choose to fill or no little release. Really good work. Flippy floppy, wiggle woggle. Because we're not done with our five classic Pilates exercises. Now it's double leg, lower lift, into scissors, into twists, which is bicycle. So hands on your head, if you can. You can also prop up your head with a pillow. I don't think it's too much cheating, but still try to contract the abs even if you have a pillow on your head. Curl up, legs straight up, keeping torso stability. Exhale to lower the legs, and curl back up. Ten those. Curl up, contract the abs, and ten. Scoop your legs together, put your toes if you want to be fancy, lift the shoulder blades. Good. Five more. Get it. Make it hurt. Four. Shoulders lifted, low neck, traction it up, but pulling your head a little bit. And now we're going to grab one leg to pulse, pulse in, switch. Scissor kick to give a little tug tug to give a nice hamstring stretch moment. Trip forehead to shin. And switch. Now it's the same long breath. Inhale. Both. Exhale. Both shoulders down. Inhale. Exhale. Curling up to the abdomen. Like you try to flex foot. Let's see if there's any difference for you. Maybe the one that feels more productive. One more breath cycle. Inhale. And exhale. That's it for that part. Now flopping side to side, delightful. You're hugging your knees in whenever it feels yummy. A moment. You can boggle your head in that position. Just releasing the neck. Twists or bicycle. That's the next one. So same breath, long two for one breaths. Twisting from the chest to your knee, elbows out to the side a little bit. Switch, switch, inhale, exhale, both. Inhaling, going to 10 breath cycles. Twist it, lift the chest to the knee. Deep breathing. Exhale, all the air out. Five more breaths. Oh my gosh, you get it. Just don't stop. Keep twisting. Four. Exhale. Three. Keep going. I'm stopping. Two. Exhale. One more breath. Side with Make it more challenging. Exhale all the air. Resting. Floppy side to side. Don't do the genie crushes. Once again, flippy floppy. Or hug your knees in, happy moment. You deserve it. Very good. Hopefully you're doing these. I mean, you could just be watching in bed. <laughs> but I know you're doing it. Right. So let's find that moment that's the terrible crunching spot. So you can do your roll down. And then where it feels like, oh, I can't. Then do your arms and pull the knees in. Exhale. Just breathe it, don't worry about it. And don't even think how many you're gonna do. Don't even worry. Ten seconds more. Just curl. Lean back enough so it's hard. And do it. Do it. Good. Five, four, three, two, and roll down. Slowly. Oh, oh my. Let's feel your right here. I hope you are. Flopping side to side. Let's do a rolling up. One more roll up. And we're going to hold halfway with our move. Okay? And then we'll do some yummy sitting stretches. It's going to be fine. Curling up halfway. You can use your arms. And we're going to get that knees. Or straighten them. It might be easier to if your legs are straight. And we're going to go back to the point and roll. Ten. Now tuck it under. Eight, seven, squeeze your legs. Five, three, two, hold, roll up. Let's stretch over and enjoy your hamstring stretch moment. 
Flex your toes back, maybe, and just enjoy. Really good work. Bring it hanging down. Toes flexing back. Hamstring rigor. And then we're going to do the legs up to the side because we can crop up your hips with the towels or pillow so that it's easier to sit upright. And then lean forward and we side bend and go really wide. Go as wide as you can with your thighs. Why not? And we stretch off her. And we just push off your leg to open the chest up the sky. Maybe the head down also if that feels better than that. Three breaths here. Sinking deeper on the exhale. Try to pull yourself towards your leg. And then let's actually twist towards the foot. Flex your toes back and try to pull yourself towards your leg. If you need to bend your knees here, that's fine. Even if you're seated upright in a chair, it might, it might work too. Your legs on the floor. Just feel that inner thigh stretch, and you stretch on the side, back stretch. And now come forward. Pull yourself forward a bit, shoulders down. Grab hold of something and just pull yourself forward. You roll your hips forward as much as possible. Three deep breaths. Long neck. And then, of course, the other side. Turn, arm overhead if that's good for shoulder. Get a nice side body stretch. Push against your leg to open the chest up the sky more. Three deep breaths. Head jiggling. Easy neck. You can bring your arm down whenever you feel it. Head release. Stretching deeper towards your leg, each exhalation, and towards the leg. Let your toes back. So get that stretch. And then going down. Really good. And let's, that's probably, that was good enough, right? We don't do this another time. You can if you wish. We have done our chronic exercises. I'm Jill Bennett. The really good for uh, therapy for your back. Healing your back from too much sitting exercise. That's the name of this one. So shoulders back, right? Your legs are lifted. You're sucking your abs in still. And we're just going to do our little dance move. Arms reach and shoulders back. Right? We'll do it five times. Lift your chest. So all your back muscles are working. Your hamstrings, glutes, all the whole back of you. And we're going to go. Ready? Set. Go. And shoulder back, back. Pinch, your, tuck your chin in towards your neck. Lift the legs up more. Reach, shoulders back. Reach, shoulders back. Good. Now hold if you can. You can move that or hold your arms forward. Chin tuck. Lift your arms and legs up a little higher. Suck the abs in a little higher. And swimming. Alternating, alternating. Alternating arm and leg, reach, keep your chin, tuck, go, go, five, four, three, two, rest. Amazing child's pose for a moment. Pushing back. You can swivel your hips side to side or whatever you like with the child's pose. You can also push off your mat and stretch it back. Back farther to get a little more stretch. I just really like this side stretch. You're swing your hips to one side and you reach your arms to the other, bending your ribcage. Because we're not done. We're going to do another set. Yay! Let's do another set of the first one and then we'll do some cobras. Ready? That's the arm, the arms dancing. Yeah, so, so legs up. They separate a little bit, that's fine. And shoulders back. Lift your arms up, your chest is lifted, and you're just going to reach and pinch shoulder blades. Reach and shoulder blades. Back, reach and shoulder blades. Lift the legs up a little more. Last two. And resting down on your forearms for a cobra or a downward dog. Cobra. So pinch your shoulder blades back. Drag yourself forward a little bit. Lift the chest. Then we're going to come down to the up dog. Palms on the mat. Pinch your shoulders back. And now you're going to drag yourself forward as you lift. And just come up as high as you can. doesn't matter if it's high. Just as high as feels good. So I'm going to say, drop shoulders down. Extend your chest up. 
Just forward, drag yourself forward, and then roll back down. Let's do three of those. Just go up as high as feels comfortable. Pinch shoulder blades back. It's just about using your arms. Give yourself a little extra back extension. Breathing, shoulders down. Open the chest, and exhale. Back down. One more, because we said three, right? Chest, and exhale. Amazing. Good. Hopefully you're feeling your triceps a lot. How about we do just a little bit of the side leg? If you happen to have your band, you can do the strap of your band around your legs, right? And pull over your knees. Otherwise, you can do it with me without it and just do the butterfly or the flying plank. So you're laying each side. Either just knee lift, if you have the band, or make it more challenging by lift. Squeeze your feet together, lift, and rolling back onto your hip. Let's do 30 seconds of it to so make this quicker. All these clam type exercises where you lay on your side are actually really good therapy for your knees and your hips and your lower back. Mm -hmm. And uh, push off your arm if you like, or you can hold your hip. Hold your legs in. Hopefully, this is a little bit of a bleak experience because you're rolling back on your, on your hip. Five more. Five, four, three, two. I'm going to give you a little discount on 30 seconds there. Terribly really sorry. Hold it up. Hold it. Squeeze the feet. Squeeze the heels. Squeeze the heels together. Squeeze the heels. Five, four, three, two, and down. And then we're going to have your foot on the floor, inner thigh lifts, lift the lower the bottom leg. Just briefly, just a little inner thigh. Pulse it up, pulse it up, five, just down. Four, three, two, both legs straight out, lift them both up, please. Ten, it's a lot of that straight. Nine, just ten. Eight, push off the hands, section of seven. Lower leg is lifting to the top leg, rolling back onto your hip. And then hold it up, lift the top leg, keep the bottom leg up. Ten, and it's over. Nine, keep it up. Eight, keep the bottom leg up. There are five, seven, six, five, kick it. Four, three, two, one. Isn't that fun? Let's do it again. Turn around. It's all down and off with this. Isn't that nice? Lay on your side. You can do the band with this part, right? And then you take it off to the rest and say that on the last one. Hope you figure that out. And clams for 30 seconds. Yes. Rolling back onto your hip. You can push on your hand, feel it fine. Try and keep the heel squeezed together, even here. Keep track of the time. Probably both side is harder. Hope you're feeling your abs a lot with this one. As you roll back, lift both legs. Good, almost there, five seconds. Mm -hmm. Great. And then let's hold heel squeezes. Ten, squeeze heels together. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, resting now. Activates a lot in the hip socket, but heel squeeze. And now foot flat on the mat. Inner thigh lifts. Yay! One, two, stretch your leg long. We're going to ten, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold the leg up. Both legs extend out. Both legs lift. For ten, rocking back on your hips. Eight, seven, shoulders down. Six, Five, four, three, two, hold it up, top leg up. Nine, eight, get the bottom leg lifted. Six, five, it's hard, keep it up. Four, do it, three, two, one. Oh gosh, it's nice to finally put that down on the floor, isn't it? Okay, we're just gonna up and do it. Just final twist. Awesome. 
so good. So this one you can have an knee bent, the bottom knee cross your leg, roll over. It feels impossible. Extend the front leg. Do what you can. And we'll just twist, pull your leg, pushing off the back hand to lift the spine, and look at your shoulder, and call it the neck. And if you wedge your elbow there to the palm up, that's my job. Just lift. I kind of like just pulling it. Just keep your shoulders down and out of it as much as possible. Three breaths. Twist. Twist more each exhale. And let's just cross that ankle over and do the big four stretch. We can do this seated on the couch and the bottom leg is foot on the floor. Walk. Right. And now we do the other side. Switch your room, giving you another view. Yeah. Just however you want to get into it. Pull the knee nice and tall on the spine, pulling with the neck. Push off the back hand, pull the leg, and twist. Leading the out, shoulders down. That was four breaths. Oops. You can always stretch your breaths. And now with the figure four, pushing on the knee, a little bit of release. And then we get to do ball body, ball body bliss. So if you have the tennis balls nearby or your lacrosse balls and we're running out of them here and live well. But they do have the pinky balls. If you are happy to stop by, you get adjustments, Dr. Goyne is taking adjustments, then you can get a pinky ball if you want. Which is the squishy little ones. And here we go. Ball buttons at the shoulders, trapezius, stress muscles. Ah, yes. Whenever you roll down, try and do it slowly. I didn't do a great job there. You can make it an exercise. That'd be great. And then cross the arms over if that feels good on your shoulder. And just roll this on the side. And if you want to intensify, you know, where the ball buttons are, your hips. More pressure on the ball bodies, and then you can rock forward and back and intensify it even further. And just self explore, lean up to one side to see if it's a little more painful if you want. And then, as you like, you push up your feet and slide the ball down over your back and get a little adjustment, maybe. Just a little adjustment, very exciting. That's your head. So a little free for where it feels good. So it's a self massage, enjoy yourself as best you can. This is what I want. And then when you wish, you can bring the ball buddies under the lower back, at the small back, the quadratus limborum, right under above the hip bone, in the fleshy part of your back. And that's where you can lean, roll side to side to release the QL. That's what we're doing some more on the erectors today. Those are those rope-like muscles along your spine. And personally, I like to pull the knees in and get a little more pressure on there if you want to do that. It's recess, you do whatever you want. Of course, you can do whatever you want because you're home, but I encourage you to try it. And see, so then you know if it's good or not, if it hurts so good. Proactive pain. And then you can do hips if you want. Bring this, the ball bodies in the glutes with the straps on your feet. You could do the leg circles like we do in reformer classes, which one day we'll be able to do again if properly. And the reverse if you like. Right, a few of those. You could do the rotating the leg in and out, the screwdriver move. Right, rotate in, rotate out, rotate in. That works your piriformis. That's the muscle we're releasing here with the ball buddies. And then there's the hip swish side to side with both. Releasing the glutes. And then now we're going to do the TFL next, which I think is just a revelation of very productive release for the hips and your back. I think it's quite an exciting moment. Let's do it. I find that this is helping a lot of people with hip pain in the life. So right at the top at the side, and the fleshy part, bend your knees in and just dig in there. 
Might be a little less tolerable with the lacrosse ball, but we have options and just releasing. You could also be able to do this with the foam roller, but just releasing right at the top of the IT band, the tensor fascia lata, that helps a lot. And then you can keep kind of inching the ball forward so it gets a little bit the front of your hip bone, or right under the hip bone where your hip flexors attach. Get in there. So just getting a little side then an oblique angle into that spot. Just breathe. And come on, to the other side. Yay! One more time, and then we're just going to do the shins and the hamstring and glutes, replicating the release we get with the reformer foot bar for the calves. Be so great. Take the other TFL, probably one side feels more painful. Woo! It's natural. Just keep breathing, letting the breath melt away the tension. Thank you, Karen. You're great. You're coming a lot. Thank you so much. You're amazing. Woo! We can go more to the front of the hip. My goodness, that is a serious moment. Let's do the calf. So the ball's right in, switch in between the calf and the hamstrings. And just sit down, give me a little more pressure, and you can do the roll side to side a little bit. If you kind of wiggle side to side, it kind of digs into the muscle a little bit more. Yay! Smiley so things. Very good. Hope you guys are staying, staying at home. So the days are blurring together and it's going to end one day, but I like to imagine it as a staycation, right? Just hanging out in your lounge clothes and then just keep weight warming the ball down your calf muscle. Ooh. And if you find a good spot that's particularly exciting, Linger there. It's actually painful. It's probably a good thing to do. There's always one calf. Let's see, that is tighter. It's just weird phenomenon. Our asymmetries, we're all asymmetrical. Special snowflakes. Just keep inching down towards your Achilles tendon. Side to side. A little release. And then we're just going to do the shin, the front of your shin, which is an amazing remedy for shin splint type sensations. It's really good for ankles and knees alike. That sounded so weird. We do know what. Whoo! What do you do, Achilles? Just hang out there. Then we'll move to the front of your shins, which you try both. So you're just pushing that shin muscle away from the shin bone. You can do one at a time as well. Just take it, you'll find it. You'll know. You'll feel like, whoa. And you can kind of roll to the side so you get more of the muscle than the knee, than the shin bone. But you're, you're gonna slide right into the muscle. Anyway, whoa. And you can just push them forward. There you go. And just keep releasing. And inch them towards your foot. And all is done. At this, it's, it's, it's the end. And of course, you're encouraged to continue to do some massage with the balls to release the stress. Good. Oh my goodness. All right, when you're done, you guys are done. I think you enjoyed that and you increased your amount of playing time. This is a great time to play every day. Just a very efficient exercise experience and all for your back. Hope you guys have an amazing day. And if you guys, um, 
Thanks, Karen. Yes, thank all, all thank you all from class class, from class class or gym class. Excellent. And if you came in some other way, you want to contribute a little gift, you can at our Venmo, which is linked down, or not linked, it's down in the description. Mine's at Lita Dash Long. And Jason's at JJ Pickles. Thanks, guys. Have a happy day. Tomorrow is Jason again at noon. See you Monday, perhaps, at noon. Also, every day at noon, alternating. Bye. Good job. Yes.